Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a first impression on these New by Nature liquid mineral foundations. New by Nature has been around for a long time. They were actually my first ever mineral foundation powder that I used. Um, and at the time I wasn't really into green beauty, but they were affordable and I knew they were kind of natural. They were an Australian brand that was familiar. So they were my first ever mineral foundation. And now they've come such a long way. They've got the liquid foundations. They've got um, highlighters, bronzing sticks, eyeshadow palettes the works and they're really gorgeous and very affordable i will have some tutorials featuring a lot of these products from new by nature coming up so make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on those videos i've got two shades here i've got the light to medium and the medium skin tone shades okay, these are uh, 39.95 australian dollars um, and you can get them from like priceline um, and also obviously online on their website. So I'll leave links to everything down below um, In terms of ingredients a lot of their products are 100% naturally derived They're not organic, but they're very low toxin. So these foundations have no parabens no bismuth or bismuth oxychloride is the full name and no talc so I imagine they'd be very low irritant, good for sensitive skin. Their packaging is so pretty too. They've got a lot of metallic um, sort of packages that they have. So this is the medium, comes in a pump bottle. I'm going to try both of the colors. I think there's four shades in total. So I'm going to jump, why have I got an accent all of a sudden? <laughs> I'm gonna jump straight into testing these out. So you can see there is quite a difference between the two. So this is the light to medium and this is the medium. So I'll test both now and see what matches and then I can have a play around to see how they perform. I'm going to start out using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I'm starting out with the light to medium. There's not really, I don't think there's really any fragrance coming through, which is good. Sometimes when you get, um, organic or low toxin foundations, they can have quite a strong sort of floral smell, I find, which I don't really like. I'm just going to see how this looks on the side of my face. I think that might be a little bit too light. So the best way to test foundation colors is to do it on sort of the side of your face here. You want your body and your face to kind of look a similar color. So testing it on your nose or on the back of your hand is a no-no, but if you test it down here, you can see how well it matches the rest of your body. I think I'm in a bit of a dilemma. I feel like I'm almost in between these two colors. I feel like this is a little more yellow toned and that's a little more even though it looks kind of darker, I feel like that matches my skin tone better. So I'm just going to apply with the brush first and then maybe I'll go in with the beauty blender and see if the coverage is buildable. It's very lightweight. It feels like I have nothing on my face. Okay, so that is one really light layer. I feel like it's evened out my skin tone nicely. It doesn't feel too oily or greasy or dewy like it's definitely not matte it's not setting to a powder but it's really beautiful because it's not super super shiny there's no streaking um there's no patchiness i feel like it's evened out beautifully um, and like i said it's not really clinging to anything either so i'm really happy with that um, aspect of it so far but I'll go in with the beauty blender now and see how that goes. Sometimes if you use a damp beauty blender with a natural foundation and the foundation is already uh, quite moisturizing, it can kind of separate uh, and not go to plan. <laughs> but this is blending in so nicely. So I've just finished applying a second layer with a beauty blender. I feel like I need to probably be a little bit more tan to wear this with two layers, particularly with the Beauty Blender. And I feel like using a damp Beauty Blender has definitely enhanced 
um, the dewiness of the foundation. So I think I would definitely need to wear a powder if I apply it with a beauty blender because you're getting that extra hit of moisture um, and obviously you're adding more of the product onto your face, which is more hydration. I am so happy with how this has applied. There's zero patchiness. It's not clinging to anything. It's blended out beautifully. And another thing I love is I usually avoid applying foundation under my eyes. I find that a lot of foundations go patchy and crease. And then when you're applying concealer over the top of that, it all just becomes a really big buildup. If I'm not really applying a lot of concealer for a sort of low key makeup day, I would be happy to put this under my eyes, which I've just done. And it's not clinging or it's not gone patchy. Um, it's not, you know, settling in the lines. It just, it adds a nice glow. It's achievable to get it to medium coverage, but if you're looking for a full coverage foundation, it's definitely not that type of foundation. This would be perfect for everyday wear to work, to the beach. So I'm absolutely happy to recommend this foundation, particularly if you have dry sort of skin or combination skin. I think it would be amazing on any skin. It feels really nourishing, um, but if you have oily skin, you'll definitely need to powder afterwards. Let me know if you have used this product before, what you thought of it, uh, and if you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you found it helpful, and I'll see you next time. Bye.